Breakwater is a floating entertainment complex for Chicago. Uh, it's about a football field long, 100 feet wide. We'll have a pool end-to-end, -to -end, a nice little waiting pool, three restaurants, and a floating dock to put your boat up on. I was working in Las Vegas and realized that daytime entertainment was something that Vegas had done very well in other cities as well, um, and Chicago was missing some of that. I mean, I think there's some obvious places in Chicago people want to go see if they've never been here. Wrigley, Willis Tower now. But I think Breakwater will be right up there in the, in the top three. Uh, this will be a great destination for tourists and locals in the summertime. And it'll be a lifestyle enhancement for Chicagoans in the wintertime. We tried to design the exterior to have a yacht feel to it, so it won't look that different than the other boats and yachts that are traveling around on Lake Michigan in the summertime. But then for the guest experience when you get on board, we want it to be a fun place at the same time, we want to be conscious of the residents that live along the lakefront. It's not just that we want to add a tourist attraction. We want to be a good thing for Lake Michigan, for its ecology, and for everyone who wants to come out and enjoy the lake. The good neighbor policy is something that we've worked very hard uh, to develop. So for us, being out on the lake, um, the lake is something that's entrusted to all people. So we want to show that we're going to be out there in good faith. My master's thesis project uh, was in an artificial floating island and um, I have a lot, of, a lot of interest and I get pretty excited about what a floating structure can do for a waterway. And um, we want it to look like something rising out of the water rather than, than something that, rather than a boat or a barge that's, that's placed on the water. We want it to look as almost like an island floating in, in the middle, you know, an oasis in the desert. So in the summertime it'll sit remotely offshore um, and it'll be a vessel but it'll look more like an island in where it operates. Um, and it'll be out by the break wall here in Chicago uh, and you'll have to take a boat to get to it. So if you have your own boat, you can drive that out and dock up. If you don't have your own boat, we'll have water taxi service that will get you there and back. We've got ideas and ways to create a very safe environment, especially because we will be catering both to the family members as well as to an older crowd. So we want to be able to create a safe environment for all of our guests. And internationally, we found one other area, it's in Istanbul. Uh, it's the only other place in the world that we found that has anything exactly like what we're trying to do here in Chicago. So it is a proven model that's happening elsewhere. We're just going to be the ones that bring something at that scale to the United States. Two years ago when I first started working on this project, a lot of people looked at it and thought, great concept in concept, but it can never be a reality. And I think now two years into the project, we're proving that wrong. It's our chance to really put, put our name on the map and, and do something that New York hasn't done, LA hasn't done, Vegas hasn't even done. Breakwater staged very well to be at the cutting edge of, I think, some, some very um, interesting and, and I would say fun environmental initiatives. You're going to be swept away to a tropical island but still be in Chicago. You're going to be taken care of like you're in Las Vegas, like you are a rock star. We're going to make sure that every customer feels like it's their first time on board or that they're a longtime patron. And there's a neat quote by Daniel Burnham in his original plan for developing Chicago after the Great Fire, and that was to bring the lake to the people. And so I think we have a rare opportunity to help uh, follow through on what Burnham's original dreams were for Chicago.